Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will let you send push notifications on your system. So this video is divided into two parts. In first part, I'm going to show you the basic syntax of how you can send the push notification. And in the second part, we'll create somewhat a real life project that you can also use yourself. So first of all, let's see what is the system requirement. So go to command prompt and write pip install win 10 toast. Uh, yes, w i n 10 t o a s t. This is what the name of the package is. Press enter, and this package will be installed for you. So for for me, this is already installed. So with this being said, let's get started with the programming. Okay, so now we are into our editor. Let's get started with the first part where I'm going to show you the basic syntax of how the win 10 tosh push notification works. So from win 10 toast import toast notifier then we'll create the class variable of the toast notifier here okay so now let's write that magical command dot show toast and then we'll write the heading of our message let's say alarm and then the body the the body of our push notification this is the message so this is the basic syntax and let's run this and there you can see the push notification is here with the name alarm and with the message this is a message so there are a few parameters also there are actually five parameters first is title which we have seen first was title here it, here it is alarm then we have message this is the message then the icon path icon is the small image which comes just adjacent to our title and the message then we have the duration the duration of time we want our message to stay on the screen then the threaded which i really don't know what it means so this was the basic syntax for our push notification so let's come to uh, no i don't want to say so let's come to a more realistic part so we'll be creating a python program now which will notify us at a specific time it will be like a reminder that okay at 4 30 you have to do this so for that we need time package and we want it to run throughout so this will be an infinite loop then we'll check what is the current time so we'll create a variable strf time So if the current time is equal to equal to let's select a time just like uh, 1234 let's say it as 123400 and if this happens I just missed here 
uh, we'll first of all print the time print current time and then we want to break it and if it is not then we'll simply pass so let me try to explain you here first of all this while loop will be running continuously in the background and it will check whether the time is this or not and if the time is true then this while loop will break and then it will reach here and then we'll see the notification so let's quickly run this because it's already 12.33 so let's run this strf time is not defined uh, because it should be time.strf let me be quick okay so the python program is running and we have to wait till 12.34 we are not getting the notification I don't know why maybe the format of time is wrong so let's do one thing let's print out and see that whether it's 24 hour clock or 12 hour clock import time and let's display the current time okay <laughs> so it should be zero zero here should be zero zero here and let's select 36 for now let's save this and let's be very quick and our python program is running 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 let's wait for 12.36 and there you can see at 12.36 we have our notification and the time is displayed so this was a short project but a fun project in which you have seen that how you can just create a python program to send the push notification for you so you can use this program on your bigger project like your django project or any other bigger project so this is it for this video and i create such short but awesome projects on my channel so if you like them then check out my channel and i'll meet you there bye bye